Greetings, my baby love. Greetings. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for being subscribed. Thank you so much. I am back. This is La Madam Serena. Today I'm going to be talking to you about some generational healing. I'm going to be talking to you about the womb and the women in our bloodline. And this, this video was especially for women. Now men, understand that you too can gain a very deep understanding of women through this video or more of a better understanding but this women this video is especially for women today hello greetings I want to start off by lighting this Yemeya candle it was dressed last night and Yemeya who is my guardian Orisha who is the mother of the seas who is the mother of all fishes that includes sharks that includes uh, sea lions and all of that, but this woman right here governs the womb, her and Oshun, she governs women's sexuality, and we are going to go ahead and open up this portal with her, okay? That's the first thing that I want to do, is open up this portal, give thanks to Yemoja, see that nice high flame, she's happy to be here, I'm happy that you're here. Welcome sister, today, like I said, we're going to be talking about generational healing now I know it has been a while since I've done a video but once you hear what I'm about to bring you today you're going to know why I've been taking my time you know the first thing I want to touch on you may say why why do I need to heal my ancestors why is this work that I need to do but if you're watching this video if you've been brought here to me baby your ancestors brought you here and that is their power and that's their influence now, I want to preface all of this by saying I understand the people who have animosity towards their ancestors. They may feel like, oh, well, you know, the ancestors allow these things to happen to us as a people. Or my ancestors, you know, they, they didn't provide what I need. I was born into poverty or, you know, I was born into these conditions. But let me tell you, we work with what we have and we do what we can. This is about healing. You being here right now in the vessel that you are in, the strong spirit that you are, you have the power to not only heal yourself, but to heal your ancestors as well. And that is very important. Why is it important? It's important because their blood is running through your veins. It's important because you're standing on their shoulders. It's important because their spirits live through us, very much so. And if we don't heal them, we will continue the trauma. We will continue to deal with the generational trauma, generation after generation after generation. And let me say this. Whether you believe slavery happened or not, you understand? Because there are some scholars that believe it didn't happen. Whether you believe slavery happened or not, understand we are nothing but about three or four generations removed from slavery. The most inhumane act of humanity, think of the whole oxymoron, but the most inhumane thing that happened to humanity, we are only three or four generations removed from that. So let me start by saying that. Let me go in by saying that we are here collectively because we have the power to heal our ancestors. And we're going to heal our ancestors. That is what our mission is. That is why we are here. So Thank you again so much for tuning in. I want to give you a personal recollection of why I felt that this video was so important. Recently, I have gone on this mission to heal my ancestors. I know when I heal myself, I'm healing my ancestors. But as I went deeper and deeper into healing my sexuality, side note, if you have not watched Healing Women's Sexuality, please go back and watch that. It's a video that I put out about a year ago, and I, I ate from that for about a year, and I'm back here. But please go back to Healing Women's Sexuality, and then return here. If you have seen that video, or you can revisit it after this, if you have seen that video, we know that in that video we spoke about the womb, where all life starts. Now, while I was doing my yoni scene, and while I was doing uh, anointing my womb, and while I was doing my womb massages, and while I was changing up my life to further go into this deep womb healing, I recognized and I saw that I had trauma there that came from my ancestors. Trauma including rape, trauma including incest, 
more unhealed abortions, more miscarriages, especially during the time when we didn't get the medical attention we needed. Miscarriages, you know, um, a high distrust for the opposite sex, a needing to be so hard. These are all things that my ancestors used as a means of survival, and I am thankful for them for that because without those sacrifices, I wouldn't be here. However, I know now I want them to be able to live out their dreams. I want them to be able to live and, and reap the benefits of the sacrifices that they made. And reaping the benefits of the sacrifices that they made means using my vessel to allow them to live out their dreams, using my vessel to heal them. And some of these things include rituals and ceremonies dedicated specifically to the healing of my ancestors. When I began doing the ancestral work, really, and really healing the women of my bloodline, womb to womb, going back to my mother, to my grandmother, to my great-grandmother, to my great-great-grandmother, to her mother, to her mother. I mean, I went back and I spoke to all of them until we started here where I was, and I went all around to all those mothers until I came back to me. So I went back to the first mother of my bloodline, and I said, Mama, we're going to heal. We're going to do it. I did my yoni steam. I lit my candles. I went to sleep, and I put the intention that I was healing my bloodline, that those women were going to let me heal them. In my dreams, I saw the women who had to run away from abusive partners. I saw women fearing for their lives. I saw some of them who were killed by men who loved them. I saw rape. I saw incest. I saw torture. But then I saw power. And they all looked at me and said, La Serena, what are you going to do? And I said, I'm here for us to heal. And when I woke up, I felt like I drank a fifth of Hennessy to the face. I had a hangover. And I, I didn't even drink that night. I don't really drink anything beyond wine anyway, cause, so I don't have hangovers. But I literally felt so much heaviness in my head and my heart. I got up, I took my son to school, I came back home, I washed down, and I did it again. And then I began to do yoni steams for my ancestors. Let my vessel be used as a means for you to heal your womb, Grandma. Heal your womb, Great Grandma. Heal your womb, mother. Heal your womb, sister. Let's do this. We're in this together. Let's do this. Your ancestors need you. Generational trauma. The trauma that our grandparents take their final rest with. The fear, the agony in their bones, in their blood whether they are cremated or whether they are into the ground, that energy lingers and it moves through the ether and it is in everything that we do. Now, along with that is their wisdom, is their power, is their journey, is their sacredness. And we focus on that. A lot of us do the ancestor work because we want to focus on, oh, all this wisdom my grandmother had. Oh, all of this power she can give me. Help me, help me, help me. Yes, your ancestors are there to help you, but you need to help them. This is about giving back to the soil that created you. This is about putting your hands in the dirt and getting your hands dirty. This is about going to the cemetery and being comfortable and sitting there and speaking to the spirit of not the dead, but those who are unseen here on this earth plane. Speaking to those in higher dimensions. You need to be in service to your ancestors. This is the season for it. Take this creed right now. 
okay? September 30th. We're moving into October. So we're moving into the season. We're moving into that shadow season. Right now is the time that you have to take the time to heal your ancestors. Now, like I said, with generational trauma, um, you know, just dealing with the paradigm of history and where women were placed in history and how we do have instances where women were financially dependent on their abusers. They didn't have the option to leave. They didn't have the option to make a way without their husbands or without their partners. Just being personal, my grandmother was one of those women who was financially obligated or she was tied to a man who was an abuser, but because she had children and because she needed help, she had to stay there, or at least she thought she did. So, when my mother was born, there was an ancestor who spoke over her. She's an ancestor now. But basically the woman, y'all know I get emotional in my videos. We gonna go there. Basically the woman spoke over my mother and spoke the success and the blessings onto my mother that she has experienced, that I am able to experience. And my mother was able to break that generational curse so that the men that are abusive, we don't have to be financially dependent on them anymore. My mother broke that curse, and I credit her with that, and I told her that. The ancestors thank her for that. But now I know that I have to lift my voice so I can let these other women know that this is the energy that I'm resonating in. This is what I'm coming from. That I want you to understand the power that we have to heal ourselves. Before we try to heal all these other people, before we try to help all these other people, before we start slinging tarot cards, before we start uh, doing our divinations, before we start doing these chart readings and trying to make money off of this, I understand it is. Before we do these things, have you healed your ancestors? Have you healed the wounds from which you came from? And see, this is lifetime work, you know. I say dedicate at least a year to just healing your ancestors and just healing your own womb, understanding who you are, visiting where your blood and bones are, visiting the hometown of your people. Seriously, where your blood and bones are is where your power is. Having interviews, doing it the old school way, talking to the elders about the elders in your family. Write those names down. Put them on your ancestral altars. Give life to these deities. They are your living deities. Your ancestors are your living deities. Only difference is guess what? You're going to heal them. Now it's time for you to give back and to heal them. And so that's what we're doing now. So let me just say, I'll take my little drink, excuse me. Let me just say that I believe in you and I know that you have that power to do that. The reason I have this Yemeya candle lit is because for me, Yemeya and Olokun, Yemeya who is the goddess of the sea, Olokun who is under the sea. Now think of how deep the sea goes. Now Olokun is under the sea. Olokun is with the ancestors. That's where the ancestors are. Ashe, amen. That's where they are. Those ancestors there, this is why Yemeya is the closest link to the ancestors. And I'm going to tell you why, too. My grandmother, I venerate her name, Celestine Bright, transitioned from this earth in March of 2018, this last year. The day that my grandmother was transitioning, I prayed. I woke up early that morning and I prayed. And Yemeya showed me the ocean. She showed me her waves. She showed me the deepness of the sea. 
And I said to myself, you may I, you're healing my grandmother. And then I understood that that day my grandmother would go to be with him and y'all for eternity. And she did. But I know that she is in safe hands. I know that she is in safekeeping. This is very real, y'all. The spirit has really hit me. And that is why I work with him and y'all. Not only to heal my sexuality and heal my wounds. But because I know she has the power to heal the wounds of all of us. I know that she has the ancestors there. I know that she is the direct link between me and my ancestors. Just like she is the direct link between you, your womb, your sexuality, your healing, and your ancestors. Now, most of you know Oshun. I speak about Oshun all the time. Oshun is Yemeya's little sister. And in some, some people will tell you that Oshun is her daughter. Because Yemeya is a mother Orisha. And as I explained in previous videos, all of the Orishas are connected to forces of nature. Yemeya is connected to the ocean. Olokun is connected to the bottom of the ocean. Oshun is connected to the river, which flows into the ocean. So, with that being said, those are your direct links to the ancestral and spirit world. With those being your direct links, there are ways that you can use both of these spirits to create the healing vibration that is needed to bring about change. I'm going to take a little break right now, um, and I'm going to come back and do a part two, just to go into more about Yemeya Oshun and the way they are aligned with helping you to heal your ancestors. 